Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 26 of Divine Journey 2. As you can see, I have some shiny new armor. Um, I finally bit the bullet and made the dark armor. Um, it's kind of expensive, but actually not that bad. Let me, uh, hang on. Where, what's an easy way to find it? There. So it's made out of dark steel blocks and endearium blocks, which I have plenty of at the moment. So it was okay. Um, I haven't actually built any uh, upgrades for it yet because those are super expensive. Um, so like if we look at, uh, I don't know, I don't know, one of them, night vision. This is the expensive thing, dark steel blank upgrade. It takes uh, 64 iron bars, 32 energized dark dust and 4 mithril. I could probably make a few of them and in fact I had to make one already uh, I made the muffling upgrade which is actually no no not the, the filter upgrade which we're going to need this guy that used one of those as, as part of the base um, but I'll, I'll probably wait until I have uh, more automation before I do that but as you can see I've also built or at least started to build uh, a new building this will be my uh, I don't know storehouse I guess you could say um, it's not finished yet obviously there's still a f quite a bit to do um, but my plan is I'm going to move the empowerer uh, into th this area here either this side or this side I'm not sure um, and so this will be where the empower goes and I'll have enough space for another machine over there and we've got plenty of space up there for a bunch more machines um, so hopefully that'll do us uh, at least until we get the rest of the automation done ish I don't know <laughs> um, what else has been happening oh yeah our, our uh, valiant snow golem ended up dying <laughs> uh, to that Cyclops or whatever he was I was standing there watching it for like I don't know five minutes and he was just like hammering the st the the Cyclops and he could never get close enough to kill it but eventually I ran over there to kill the Cyclops and he I don't know me hitting him must have messed up the I don't know something because he ended up killing the golem then which was a shame that guy was uh very <laughs> he, he did well um, the other thing I've been working on is over here. I have a, done a little bit of uh, decoration. This is very out of style with the rest of the base, but so is these machines. So I guess it kind of fits the machines. But yeah, we've got uh, four stacks of lithium here. And this is also full of tritium. I made this. This, is, this was kind of expensive. I was planning to make two. Uh, I don't think I need to because the slow part is actually making the brine, but this was expen- like this is cheap, this was fairly cheap, but this was super duper expensive. It's like um, I needed all this, and this is why we needed to make the lithium because that's uh, smelted lithium dust, but then like there's all this and this and this and this and this, it just goes on forever. So that was quite expensive, um, and I ended up just making the one. Um, but yeah, the slow part of this whole process is this machine here. This is our bottleneck. I have to speed this up if I want to speed up everything. As you can see, this is this is easily able to keep up with only the three high. So I'll, I don't know, we'll think about that. Um, but yeah, that's mostly what's been happening. Oh, I also ended up making another... Let me double check on this, actually. I put um, under here... I put a new, um, uh, you know, this guy, uh, excavator, because I needed more diamonds and more emeralds. So we have, okay, we got two and a half stacks of diamonds and three stacks of emeralds. I totally forgot you get emeralds out of this. The other episode I was talking about needing to get emeralds somehow. You can just get them from here. There's heaps of them in there. <laughs> um, but I think this is probably not empty yet. It doesn't look like it's still getting coal out of it. So um, I'm going to leave that for a little bit longer. Why don't all the pigs stand up there? I don't know. Um, one other thing I've done. I actually did this before the last episode, but I forgot to show you. I made the resources fisher. This thing, which, um, you know, fishes for it basically gets everything you can get via fishing. Um, and I use that to get the fish, which I use to make fish and chips, which is my current food. 
Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So um, in terms of fuel production, we have heaps of um, eggplants. I got 600 stacks there. <clears throat> I did end up disconnecting uh, this from this because it was just using up all of our uh, eggplants. So now it's slowed down again. It's not quite going at full speed, but I think what I will do to make it go fast is get more water wheels because it's the power here that's the slow part. If I had the enough power here, I could easily, uh, you know, make more biodiesel. So I'll probably, that's what I'll do. I'll just put some water wheels down the mountain a bit further. Um, yeah, but today what we're going to work on is a couple of things. So I haven't moved the Empower yet. I'll probably do a little bit more work on the roof of the building and a little bit of the interior. Um, but I'm going to start or at least um, make a start on. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, like I said, we built all of this stuff. This should be enough to get us to... Uh, the steaming rice, steaming Restonia crystal. So we need to put an empowered Restonia crystal. So I should probably set up a recipe to empower them. I don't think I have yet, but that's not too expensive. I have plenty of all of that stuff. But yeah, we need DT fuel and steam. And so the way to get steam is via this boiler, which I built all of the stuff to make that. That wasn't too expensive. It was some elevatium ingots and lithium which I now have plenty of. This was quite expensive. This was, um, this stuff is okay. This is more elevatium and atomic alloys, but this guy had a whole bunch of ingredients, which I hadn't uh, done before. So I needed to, to have a recipe for empowering this guy, which wasn't too bad. Um, actually, it wasn't that bad now that I think about it. I think I had to make a bunch. Oh yeah, this was hard because I had run out of elevatium and I had to, I made another stack of it. That's why it took so long. Um, okay, so, wait, oh yeah, let me get the quests for all this stuff. External heater, oh, and I made some thermodynamic conductors, and I made a bunch of stuff, which is, yeah, the quests are pretty good in this pack, I must say. I was also thinking of making two of these for two electric pumps, but again, it was kind of expensive, and I can just, ooh, wait, this one's the best one. I can just, um, you know, wait. <laughs> you don't need, I don't think I'm going to need huge amounts of it. I also, oh yeah, I made an enchanter. So this guy here, um, and I use that to put mending on all of these pieces. So once we have empowered, it'll use power instead of durability, but it still does use a little bit of durability. So it's good to have mending on it anyway. So I made that enchanter. Uh, and here we go. I made the I made the armor itself. So all of these I'll eventually make. I think um, we, we, I don't know what I'll do about jetpacks because I kind of like the dark armor rather than a jetpack, uh, but maybe I'll have to swap between the two. I had these, I got these somewhere out of some loot chest or something. I can't remember how I got them, but I just did that to get the quest. Um, this was one of the ingredients for the enchanter. So I had to do that. Uh, oh yeah, and I had to, I made the pump and I had to make these, these were part of the solar neutron activator. So I had to make both of those and what else have we got? Oh yeah, that was also part of the solar neutron activator, the HV capacitor. And I think that's it. All right. So let's throw our rewards in here. Oh wow. Did I, oh, I got an extra, extra heart. Did I throw any of them away? It doesn't look like it. You got to be careful because the rewards tend to go really far when they do go. <laughs> uh, let me get that heart out. I can put that in my, in my bauble, this guy. Ow. I can put it up there, right? No, why can't I put it up there? That's weird. NBT tags. How come I can't? How come I can do that one, but not this one? I think you can put, no, I don't know what's going on. 
Oh, now it doesn't have NBT, and now I can stack them. Okay. That's weird. Um, is it working now? Yeah, okay, there we go. I don't know what happened there. All right, let me just quickly sleep, and we'll start making uh, those things that we need to get going for the steaming Restonia crystal. All right, there's a little infinite 2x2, two two, so I can... Uh, I'll probably get rid of that. We don't need that there. And now, here's the thing, right? Uh, wait, how do we make DT fuel? Is it with a PRC? Chemical infuser. Oh, right. Which is one of the things that I have. Okay. So, this goes in one side, tritium. And so, what I will do is I will put... Uh, actually, we need to get power to it as well. I have been... I, I want to make sure that we still get both uh, lithium here and in here so that we can make both of them. So I might have to put the power behind, I think. So now we get tritium there. Wait, is that right? Yeah, tritium and deuterium on this side, which we get from an electrolytic separator with heavy water. So let's go... Actually, I have that already over uh the thing <laughs> enderman keeps stealing my grass blocks it's it's really ruining the illusion of my base as being a solid piece of ground <laughs> um so i have the electrolytic separator here somewhere i think yes and a psc i don't think we need that and an empty gas tank maybe i'll use that i'm not sure exactly i think dt fuel is a gas right so It'll be good to store that in a tank. So we need uh, an electrolytic separator. Uh, and deuterium goes on the left side. Heavy water goes in the front. Oh, that's, that's not great. That means the heavy water goes in there. which is kind of in the way of this thing. But I guess we do really need to remove that. Maybe what I'll do is uh, we'll take that there. Oop. Come here. And we'll take that and we can put this here. And we can put that there as well. So let's put that there and we can put that there. And we can throw that back in there. And then we'll have to get power to it as well. Uh, oh, I do have enough grass. <laughs> um, I should have brought some more conduits. There. Okay, so that's how we're going to do that. That's not that pretty, but it'll do. I might bring that step up as well. Anyway, then we got to get... Um, Oh, wait, what's going in there? Hydrogen. Oh, because of that. Oh, boy. I got to empty it out. <laughs> Dump. Okay, so now we need to... Ugh, we need to get heavy water into there. So let's get a pump. Uh, question. So I think what I'll do... I kind of want the pump just to... be not too far... Oh, I guess I'll put the pump like that. No. This way. I want it to come out there. Is that power? Or is that where the water comes out? That's where the water comes out, right? So we kind of want it to go down one. And so I don't really care which direction the water comes in. Okay, and then let's get some... Um, I got to put the upgrade in to make sure we get... Oh, and I got to get the... Yeah, yeah, that's right. Electrolytic separate. Okay. So, let me grab some... Should I use mechanism cables or should I use just conduits because they're easier? I kind of want to use mechanism cables just because they look better. So, let's go... Uh, is it... What are they called? Mechanical tubes? Mechanical pipes. Yeah, that's kind of a weird name, but there you go. Oh, and then, okay, what does it need? Hop graphite. Oh, my goodness. 
uh, let me just get two of them and I'll go. Uh, yeah, I'll be back when I, once I've got all those things. All right, that's getting a little bit of heavy water. Not too much, but we'll be able to speed it up. Oh, how come that looks so weird? Wait, is that right? Yeah, deuterium. Oh, I didn't know you could pump it into any side. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's working. I, I'm actually kind of surprised. So uh, I need to get my gauge dropper and it's not here. All right, there we go. So that's making DT fuel now. Awesome. And then we're not done yet. So to make this, we need to pump it into a PRC. Oh, that's, I left that behind <laughs> with steam and DT fuel. So I think is DT. Now here's the question. Is DT fuel a gas? No. Okay. It's a liquid. Which makes sense. Wait, does it make sense? I don't know. Um, so let me get the PRC. And then we're going to have to make the steam boiler. Oh boy. PRC. And so, yeah, I think, as I said, I think the DT fuel will want to have a buffer. So like some sort of tank to buffer it in because we want to get plenty of it which yeah this is now running at oh, I should probably get some upgrades to make it cheaper and everything but that's fine now the question is the steam boiler I think I'll put it here and I'll probably just make it like you know relatively small I'm gonna do something about this pump I don't think I should do it like that I think that looks terrible <laughs> But we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something a bit later on for that. Okay, now the steam boiler is something like... I'm going to do the smallest one possible, which is 3 by 3, I believe. Like that. Wait, is that right? No, that's not right. I think even that's not right. Wait, what did the quest say? Maybe it's 3 by 3 by 4 is the smallest possible one. Oh yeah I had to make that <laughs> uh, this guy uh, where did it say three by three by four yeah okay so I think you got to make it um, one taller potentially one two three like that and then let's put uh, do, 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 do. then we have the valve which is where I think the water is supposed to go in so I'll put that there I'm gonna put another one of those everlasting urns there and then the steam I guess will come out of here and then the pressure disperser wait wait I can't remember what does that do <laughs> and then these things I think we just pop in here and they're like just so you can see what's going on no I'm missing something yes I am missing something what am I missing superheating element all right is that is that what I'm missing wait maybe I should because oh yeah yeah, yeah the heater has to go there right Okay, this is probably not the best. <laughs> okay, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, let me see if I could figure out what I've done wrong. Okay, so after reading the description, I think I know what to do. We have uh, the pressure dispenser like that. And then I'm going to make this. Wait. Let's get rid of that and let's put the glass there and I think I probably don't have enough of these now um, and then hang on and then I'm gonna put the two so the trick was you got to have 
the superheating element in the middle on the bottom and the pressure disperser in the middle on the top like above it and then I'm going to put the two valves you're going to put one valve touching this guy and one valve touching that guy and then let me get up on top and the rest is got to be filled in with these guys and I don't have enough is the thing I need two more so I think I got to go make two more boiler casings okay so that should do it yeah there we go we got the red particles meaning it it formed okay great so now we pump in water so I also end up making one of these these are kind of annoying to make uh, but anyway, I made it and we put it, oh, I guess, hmm, maybe I should have put this valve here, valve, and, oh man, this, <laughs> this wall is in the way, there, okay, that's good, and then let's put the bowl there. It's kind of weird how the bowl is like only three or four pixels wide or whatever. Let's extract and insert. Oh, and let's do our usual, you know, this one will be blue because it's water. So it has, wait, it's empty. Wait, how do you get the water into it then? Not by a valve? Okie dokie. Wait, now I'm confused. Uh, heat it. Heat cables can be attached anywhere. Wait for it to reach 100 and steam will be produced. Pump water into the valve, touching the... Oh, the bottom valve. Oh, well, actually, that makes a lot of sense, right? This is the superheating element. Okay, so let's uh, let's swap these around. So this valve goes here, this casing goes there, and this valve goes here, and this valve goes there. Okay, now we put the bowl there, and we put the pipe here, and we extract, and we insert. Okay, now, yes, now it's getting water, okay. And then we got to get the superheating, or no, the resistive heater. And I'm going to put it, they said you could put it anywhere. So if I put it, oh man, I'm just going to break that. If I put it there, will that work? Wait, is that right? Which side takes the heat? Is that where, that's where the power goes, I assume. So let's get it some power. I don't know how low I should be going. I'm going to get flooded, aren't I? Where's the power? Okay, here we go. Uh, get me out of here. <laughs> no, I can't get out. Okay, there we go. And let's get you, wait, no, it has to go up here. There, okay. I can hear it, it's getting hotter. Okay, so once it gets to 100 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling point of water, we should start seeing steam show up here, right? So uh, let's give it a minute to heat up. All right. I got six empowered ones, uh, mostly because of the Signalum. I kind of regret using bricks for my building over there because I need them for this thing now, but that's okay, bricks are pretty easy to make. Let's see, have we made steam yet? I haven't been sleeping much actually because like inside there is basically totally mob proof now, um, although out here is not, and that's a long-ish drop uh, so it looks like it hasn't 66 degrees we still got a while to go all right so I'm gonna wait a bit more I ended up um, I put the pipe here over to the PRC um, this is actually a gas DT fuel 
I just hadn't set the sides right so that it would input properly. Um, so I have that going into a basic gas tank. I could easily upgrade that, I guess. Um, but yeah, for the time being, so this actually outputs DT fuel as an output as well. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to like recycle it. Um, but that's okay. We don't need it just yet. And I think I'll have to tidy all this up quite a bit. This is really ugly. This is in this pipe here is really ugly. So yeah, we'll, we'll think of something, but let me come back once this is finished heating up. It's still, still going. I tried putting a thermal conduct, thermo conductor there, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. The heater itself, the temperature is 27, like room temperature. So I think all of the heat is going into here. So I think this is the fastest it can go with only one of these guys. And I am not making another one. <laughs> so let's just wait. There we go, 100%. Well, 100 degrees. <laughs> okay, so, oof. Now we should be getting steam in here. Oh yeah. All right, so if I put one of you in, how much steam do we need? Let's see, we need a thousand. Oh boy. Uh, oh, it's actually not gonna take that long to get a thousand, okay. So we should probably also get steam uh, collected in a tank or something. It's weird that you can take so long to make, but then you can just store it forever in a tank. Okie dokie, let's go. 800. Come on. This will get us the quest. We only need one, right? No, we need four. Oh boy. Luckily I have four. Oh, it uses up a lot of power. 800. Uh, actually, not that much, I guess. But we are using a whole bunch of machines at the moment. So we've got this thing going. We've got all of those machines going. We've got a bunch of machines inside running forever now. So the power situation is definitely uh, something. So while we wait for that, I'm going to quickly talk a little bit. Actually, why don't I just put all six of them in there? Because why would I wait? Um, yeah, while we talk, while we do that, I mean, while we wait for that, let's have a quick chat about the next step. So once we get this, the next step is the drill. And then we get uh, whatever that is. I forget. I, I think I know what it is. Um, I can't remember that. Uh, and then we get this and then like we're into this area here. So we actually don't have too much left to go. I think this will take quite a lot more power than we've seen in the past, but um, it should be okay. I think with what we've got, one thing I do want to do though, is get this thing going. So elevatium plus solarium plus a dark steel block equals dark solarium ingot. And that way we can start making like this guy, the travel uh, wand. Um, we can also start making the spawner. We can start making this, which is going to give us access to wireless RF. So I don't know which to do in the next episode. Should we just get straight on with the, the ME system? Or uh, should we start making this to get wireless RF? I kind of want to make this and get to wireless RF. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to make all this stuff, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it's worth it before we make the ME system because then we can get rid of that wiring there. Um, we have a bunch of wiring underneath the ground at the moment, which I can get rid of. Um, I've replaced all of the wiring in here with uh, the uh, ender conduits, energy conduits, but yeah, I have to, oh, I just realized I haven't mob proofed any of the roof up there. <laughs> I should probably do that. Um, but yeah, that's what we, uh, well, I have to decide. We'll, we'll have to decide which one we're going to do next, either wireless RF or continue with what we've got so far. So this has worked. We don't actually get that much DT fuel out of it, but we get a little bit. And that's the quest. Red rice, red rice. I don't know what that's in reference to. 
and we get oh we get four more okay so now we've got how many 12 uh no 10 cool um so this thing needs four for the drill and the base needs one more so we could probably make the base plus two. Oh, and we need crystal teen alloy and oh we need a block okay i need quite a lot more <laughs> so i'm gonna have to make more of that uh we're gonna have to make the crystal teen ingots anyway which is what we need for wireless rf what is that thing called rf exciter yeah this thing so this is how you take rf out of the system so that's actually kind of expensive now that i look at it machine case all right so i'm going to not do this next episode because i think this will be better once we have automation and we can just say you know give me a machine case and it'll make all of this stuff that we need in order to do it this is like real painful to craft so next episode we are going to continue with our quest we're going to make the the mining drill and uh, the laser drill i should say and we're going to get uh, uh trying to think what it is it's just you know slipped my tongue Oz oh iridium and that's osmiridium i guess so it's iridium plus osmium yes so as far as i know the only way to get iridium uh, other than uh, mystical agriculture is uh via the laser drill and like some extra super late game stuff like this yeah, so that's why that's why we need the laser drill. So I think we need it to get uh, the the ore. I'm guessing. Let's see. Let's see. Iridium ore. Yeah. Yeah, laser drill. Okay, so that's what we're going to have to set up next episode. But that's all we have time for today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.